Hello everyone and welcome to AV Chess Lab. My name is Alex and I am so excited to introduce the Road to Chess Master series in which we're going to begin the journey of learning how to play chess. We're going to start from the very beginning and the idea is to introduce concepts in a sequential order that makes sense and allows you to improve one step at a time. There will be two to three lessons per week depending on how hard the material is, giving you enough time to get some practice in between and not burn out. So if you're pumped to get started, Make sure you subscribe to the channel as there will be a lot of new material and you do not want to miss any of it. As this is the first video in the series, for some of you this might just be a review and for others the first chapter into becoming a chess master. Even at the elementary level, I will try to include some higher level things for those that are more advanced, but trust me, we will cover a lot of material and it is going to be an awesome ride. So with that out of the way, let's get started and jump right into the board for the first episode. I first want to begin with the board and pieces. So let's clear everything. And here we have a chess board. It is eight by eight. So it is composed of 64 squares. 32 squares are light squares and 32 squares are dark squares. Some people even refer to it as the battlefield where two great armies are about to conduct some serious fighting. Some vocabulary to understand now that will be extremely useful as we move along in the series is the difference between ranks, files, and diagonals. The ranks are those horizontal lines going from right to left or left to right. So for example, this is the first rank, second rank, third rank, fourth rank, fifth rank, sixth rank, seventh and eighth ranks. The files will be vertical going up and down. So like this, the A file, B file, C file, D file, and so on until you get to the H file here. And diagonals are just vertical lines on the board that follow the same color. So for example, going like this from one side to the other, this will be a dark square diagonal. And from here to here, this will be a light square diagonal. Disregard these letters and numbers that you see on the edge of the board for now. There will be a lesson later about the importance of this and how we can use this to improve our own game. Before we can put the pieces on the board, we have to make sure that the board is set correctly. You will not believe the amount of people that get this wrong. The rule is the right light to the right, and this just means that there needs to be a light square on the right side, indicated here by the red square. If you have a dark square, just rotate the board on either direction and this problem will be fixed. Now that we have the board correctly placed, it is time to bring the pieces. Each player will have 16 pieces for a total of 32. I like to start setting the board from each end, starting with the rook, a knight and bishop. And you do the same thing on the other side. You, you go rook, knight and bishop. And the more you repeat it and the more you practice it, the easier it's going to become. So if you're having problems with this, just practice it a few times and it will just become part of who you are. Now, after this, we have to put the king and queen. And the rule is that the queen always goes in its color. So in this case, since we're setting up the, the white pieces, the white queen is going to be on a light square. And then the king will be the last piece to put in. And in front of our major pieces, we're going to put the eight pawns. as so. Now, let's practice by setting up the black pieces. So like I said, we begin from the, from the edge with the rook, the knight, and the bishop. And we do the same thing on the other side. Rook, knight, bishop. Now the question is, where does the queen and the king go? So since we're setting up the black pieces, the queen's going to go in its color. So the black queen is going to go on the, on the dark square and the king is going to go next to her. Now the pawns are just going to be placed in front of each of our pieces. So the, we have eight of these guys. And this is how you set up the pieces on the chessboard. At the beginning, most players have issues with the knight and bishop and the king and queen. But a little bit of practice and you should be fine. 
This concludes this session. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when the next lesson in the series is uploaded. As an exercise, I will always leave a chess tactic on the screen. I know this was the first lesson, but as I mentioned, even at the beginner level, I will provide some kind of value for those that are more advanced and watch the video. Try to always solve the problem and leave the answer in the comments. Thanks again, and as always, stay safe, have a great day, and show respect to your opponent. See you next time.